friend Kay Michelle here with Little Lux Treasures. I um, wanted to come today and just uh, pop on here and alert you guys of some changes that I've seen recently and what I think might be happening to uh, Van Cleef and Arpel's Alhambra line and their collection. They've made quite a few changes um, in the past, I would say, six to eight months of their Alhambra line additions and some deletions. Um, and some of them are pretty exciting. Some of them, I'm curious to see what happens on the resale market with some of these changes. Um, anyways, so wanted to just talk about uh, the four changes that I've noticed uh, just over the past few months. And uh, hopefully you find this type of video helpful. If you, if you do, please comment and let me know. And I will put out more of these as I see hot topics come up. Um, but uh, really and truly, um, I have, I've gotten excited about one of the changes, um, or actually a couple of those changes, and might be making some additions or replacements on my wish list. Um, so with saying that, um, I pretty much stalk VCA's website like embarrassingly often. So, um, and all of their lines, but I pay a lot of attention to the Perlay collection. Um, because there's a, like a real wish list bracelet that I want that I don't know if I'll ever actually be able to add just because it's so pricey. Um, it's the one with the diamond clovers and they've got a small version now, but I haven't been able to look at that one in the store yet. Um, but anyways, I'm not here to talk about those new items. I'm ta here to talk about specifically Alhambra collection. And so this new uh, collection actually has alternating carnelian and rose gold guilloche motifs. And it comes in three, and I'll put screenshots and some videos I've taken up off of VCA's website on here. But uh, it comes uh, it comes in a five motif vintage bracelet where there's like three carnelian motifs and then two rose gold um, guilloche uh, motifs there. It comes in this beautiful two motif earring, which I think I might actually get. And honestly, if I just hadn't bought my five uh, yellow gold guilloche, uh, my five motif guilloche bracelet I probably would have opted for this one instead um anyways uh but um mine is probably a little bit more versatile but the earrings are fabulous they're vintage rose gold guilloches um so the vintage size with a drop down of the carnelian and the magic size so and it's a pretty good price honestly well for VCA it's a pretty good price um, and then there's, they also have released the third piece in that collection, which is a 20 motif, um, and it's the alternating rose gold guilloche um, and carnelian necklace. Um, it is all some pretty decent prices in my opinion, and I'm probably going to um, sub out my next pair of earrings for that I had on my wish list for those. Um, so just wanted to let you know this because I think it's pretty exciting and pretty gorgeous and you might want to add it. Go by, look at it in person and add it to your wish list. I think this all happened in the last week because I look at the website, like I said, pretty, very, very regularly. Um, so the next change I noticed while I was preparing for my next video, which I'm going to upload in the next uh, uh, in the next week or so, um, and it is the fact that the letterwood option on the five motif is now gone. I know because I was planning to do um, so another video that I had been kind of prepping for since March, and I have in my February or March notes that um, the letterwood was still being offered. And wait a second before you say who cares about letterwood, because I would typically say who cares about letterwood as well. Um, I just think, just stop and think about the fact that every time VCA discontinues um, a stone offering, and I know letter wood is probably not in the traditional sense of the word of a, a stone, but the resale prices go sky high. Now, I don't think letter wood was like super popular, so the prices probably aren't going to go really high, but I'm curious to see what happens. So if you've got a letter wood piece, you might want to stick, um, you might want to keep your hands on it because it might actually be going up in value. Um, and I think about coral, lapis, turquoise, and like rock crystal, like how those prices are very inflated in the five motif vintage bracelets, um, or even in the necklaces, whenever you uh, see them online, they're extremely high. And I also look at auction houses and um, consignment stores pretty regularly looking at those as well. So, um, and those, and I'll put a couple of screenshots of like things that I've seen those items go for. 
Um, and then third change is the addition of Alhambra watches. Um, so they now have a turquoise and lapis uh, Lazuli options. So they've got, they've come with these beautiful like white um, alligator straps and then you get a second alligator strap. I think these came out about a month ago. I wanna say I noticed them in July or August is whenever they first came out. Um, they, uh, they have quite a bit of diamonds on them and they've got like the same version as you've seen in probably some of their others. They don't come in the no diamond option at this point. They only, those turquoise and lapis options only come in the version with like diamonds around the case and then like on the inside of the dial or on the outside of the dial inside of the, of the actual, um, of, of the, of the face. Um. They're pretty expensive. It looks like they're about $3,600 US dollars more than um, the equivalent diamond uh, versions of the other stones. Uh, but still, I think that's pretty good. Who knows how long they're gonna offer them. They, tip, they haven't offered turquoise and lapis um, in Alhambra in a vintage or a magic style in a few years. So I thought that was pretty exciting. However, they've outpriced me. Like I have other watches on my wish list that I'd rather spend um, money on than than those options uh, Anyways, so I'm not looking for a Van Cleef option unless just something At a really good price uh, Somehow finds its way to me um, But and then I'm still might not either just because I have other things that I'd like to prioritize And then this last so the fourth kind of addition happened about four to five months ago I want to say it happened right before the price increase um, that happened in May, or was it June? Um, I think it was June 1, because I want to say um, it was like I went there like Memorial Day weekend um, to, to make my last purchase. But my essay sent me a pic of it about a week before I got there, and he said that they had one in the store, and that's the secret watch pendant. And I just realized I made an area earlier because one of the secret watch pendants actually comes in a rose gold guilloche um, with like a with uh, diamonds and then there's an all diamond pave one with like a yellow gold guilloche dial and then there's a carnelian um, rose gold uh, secret pendant secret watch pendant um, and I think it's got a mother of pearl dial but I might memory might be slipping now but I'll insert some pictures of those but um, overall that's a lot of changes to the Alhambra line this year and so really the food that I have for thought here is if there's a particular um, item that you've been looking for in the vintage Alhambra collection, it's not like one of their classics, like Mother of Pearl Onyx, you know, Carnelian, which you know is probably going nowhere soon, um, especially given all the new Carnelian pieces that they've been adding. It looks like that's somewhere they want to invest in a little bit more, um, probably because it pairs nice with, nicely with the rose gold, and rose gold is still hot. Um, it, it, that's my guess at least. Um, but if there's something that you've wanted, you know, that you've had on your wish list, like maybe even the malachite, um, or, um, blue agate, which blue agate is like, I mean, a lot of these semi-precious stones that VCA uses are, have like plenty in the earth still. Um, however, they do have some pretty exacting quality. So sometimes they will stop. Um, producing pieces with it if they can't meet the quality or the consistency and color that they've looked that they're looking for but anyways if you want any more information about this or if you appreciate this type of content please like and subscribe and comment and let me know um, if not I will steer clear of these in the future but thanks so much for watching and please wait for my next video which is going to be your buying guide ultimate buying guide to the VCA vintage Alhambra bracelets so thanks so much and um, be blessed. Have a blessed day.